Hi, I'm Doreen Graham from Clare Local Development Company. This year, in 2013, we're celebrating 21 years of community-led development in County Clare. The story started in 1992 with the First Leader programme. In the mid-1990s, community-led development expanded when the Social Inclusion programme was introduced to the county. Today, CLDC, a community-led organisation, provides a wide range of supports to local enterprises, the unemployed and community groups in every corner of the county. We're here in Quinn at a newly expanded community centre which serves a thriving rural community. This is one of many community centres around the county which have received leader grant aid. Clare Local Development Company presents a short film, The Banner Rising, which highlights a small number of the many success stories associated with community-led development in County Clare. Let's hear from Eddie Ryan of Atlantic Air Venture in Shannon. We're only, um, as I say, totally in operation, I say about five years completely, from absolutely nothing, and I mean that, absolutely nothing, to where we are today, and which is extensive as you will gather as you go around. The whole dream is 20 years old. You can have all these dreams, but to finally put it into a reality, you uh, kind of take what you can get when an opportunity presents itself. And, th and that is what we've done. We are where we are today because of the Clare Local Development Board. Their assistance to us has been magnificent, is the only way I can describe it. Yeah. From an innovative educational tourism and training project in Shannon, we moved to a flourishing rural enterprise which has already created considerable employment and which was established through the exploitation of a natural resource. Clare Spring was founded in 2009. Uh, it is a family run business. We have 15 employees in total. Clare Spring received a grant, a leader grant at the startup phase of the company. It was a massive help. We wouldn't have been able to, to proceed without it. Uh, to date, we've been in operation four years. We, uh, we've become a nationwide supplier and we also export. We, uh, we currently supply an airline in Holland. The support we got from Leader was a, a massive help and we wouldn't have been able to uh, set up the company without it. The landscape and quality of life of communities throughout County Clare has been transformed through supports offered by CLDC. Board member Seamus Murphy met Maura Griffin and Francis McGuan of the St Mary's Development Association in Lissy Casey to see how their community has benefited. And we have a lot of work done in the past four or five years uh, with the help of CLDC and the council and of course FOSS funding. Um, we began with the bridge and building this road and we got the money for the three-way bridge or part of it from uh, leader and uh, with the help of all our FOSS workers and then we have the Crenogues and the wildlife garden down at the road. We just saw what needed to be done as we went along and just kept improving on it and we hope to continue doing that. And the play group, the playground back in the FNODs, that was great because that was waste ground and it cleaned up the area. There's a different committee for that but it's, it has been done again with the aid of CLDC. It's, it's, it's a great advantage to the whole area, like, and people just love coming here. More than 3,000 people have received training in the county over the lifetime of the various programmes. Among the current training courses are several local training initiatives, including a horticultural course based in Scarif. Kevin Nolan explains how it is helping him. I suppose for me, like, I'd have a, a construction background, but I wouldn't have much of a background in kind of horticulture if you like you know? so it's definitely definitely enjoying it you know definitely well worth it like like I say I wouldn't have had a horticultural background now like I mean what I've learned is it's, it's just fantastic like, you can actually take it you know it, is, is there job opportunities out of it yes there definitely is and even if there wasn't job opportunities out of it you have a skill for your own back garden it's a skill for life really you know without a doubt like the warmer home scheme is a free home insulation service for householders on fuel allowance our workers on the Rural Social Scheme have been providing this service since 2006. Last year, 94 families in the county benefited from the increased comfort and lower fuel bills that insulation provides. 
My name is John O'Connell and I'm the supervisor over the Warmer Home Scheme in Clare, which is implemented by Clare Local Development Company, using participants of the Rural Social Scheme to carry out the work. And in order to qualify, the homeowner must be in receipt of fuel allowance or have family income support or be on job seekers for more than six months with children under seven years. And if they qualify, they get 300 mil of insulation installed in their attic, all pipes, hot and cold water tanks lagged free of charge, free energy light bulbs are fitted and the labour is carried out free of charge and material is also provided free of charge if the householder qualifies. The local community development programme has assisted several hundred people into self-employment through training, career guidance, grant supports and referral to other funding. When Martin Conroy found himself unemployed, he came up with an innovative idea to start his own business. Exploration Dome is a mobile planetarium. Um, it, we go to schools and colleges around Ireland. Basically it's an inflatable dome, um, four, six metres wide, four metres high. Uh, it seats 45 adults or 60 children. It, the people are seated in concentric circles, a circle around the projector. So it's quite comfortable inside and it's fully immersive. So no matter where you stay, stand and sit in the, um, the dome, you'll always get a, uh, a yeah. full, full It's a 360 degree view. It's all around you. It's kind of like a 3D without the glasses, really. And it comes at you, whatever you see. The stars, we can get the planets closer, get the stars closer. But in the movies, with the films we show, that's just... Yeah, it's the reaction, just, the reaction from the children are amazing. Yes, it's amazing. Absolutely. And adults as well. It's quite, it's quite astonishing. Yes. It's very, very, very good. Only for a leader, we wouldn't be here right now. Um, leader. Uh, the only ones who really believed in us and came through. So we could start up. And it was great. I mean, we yeah. were very great, grateful, grateful to yeah. them for, for, for where we are right now, you know, sincerely. So. Clare boasts quite a number of community enterprises, most of which are long established. In a financially challenging environment, keeping up with modern trends and the demands of the public is not easy, as Joe Garrahy explains. Uh, uh, Seward was looking to revamp and upgrade the facility and we were lucky enough to access funding for um, a range of different upgrades to our facility including a, an entertainment centre that's capable of showing movies, um, training, training events and also it led on to our aquarium experience which is a, an interactive marine expo and another part of our facility is the swimming pool and the um, leisure centre. Um, for that we were able to purchase with the help of either a, a huge inflatable, like a, a five, six, six metre inflatable that goes uh, wide and 18 metres long. It fills our pool it's like an eliminator challenge. It's absolutely loved by the kids. And then we got the innovative little water walkers, little, uh, I don't know what you call them, um, hamster balls or zorbs. And the kids absolutely love that. And with the help of Leader, we've been able to upgrade and modernise and help it to become sustainable and make it a viable business in the rural economy. It's, it's without, without the help of Leader, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have been able to do those upgrades. Farmers and farm families are the backbone of the rural economy, but developing an alternative farm enterprise has become ever more important. We, we started in 88, producing the first sheep's cheese in Ireland. The, the banks supported us because they knew that the cows would make the repayments, the dairy enterprise within the farm would make the, the repayments. We went out, having developed the cheese, we went out and we found it extremely difficult to open doors. In, in 91, we went to Leader and we went to Father Harry looking for support to build a purpose-built building on our farm. They believed in what we were doing. They believed that there was a market out there and we got a 50% grant to build our own cheese plant, which you see here today, on our farm, purpose-built. But equally important was that Leader gave us moral support. We could see as clear as a whistle that Leader, unlike the banks, believed that we could make a go of this, we could make a business out of this, and thank God, we are on the road 26 years now. That support was terribly, terribly important and it came at an absolute vital time 
in the development of our business. Farm diversification pioneer Sean Fitzgerald highlighting the fact that support is not just about the money. In recent years, interest in walking and rural recreation has increased hugely. CLDC has been actively involved with communities and landowners to develop trails around the county. Our job involves linking with communities and farmers who have potential trails on their land and who'd like to see them developed. And if they are suitable for development, we can link them then with the national agencies who have the funding and the money to develop the trails and put in map boards and markings for walkers and supply map cards and all of that. So we link with the steering group, a trail steering group in Clare, who provide advice and guidance and funding as well for development of trails in Clare. But we also link nationally with agencies who provide uh, expertise, I suppose. They provide funding in the form of the WALK scheme, which comes from the Department of Environment, Community and Local Government. And that allows farmers who have trails going through their land to maintain those trails. And we have over 100 farmers in the Burren uh, maintaining over six walks that are going through their land. So it, makes, it ensures that the trails are in good condition for walkers. And it also creates a, a very good link between the farmers and ourselves at CLDC and the walkers and the people who are promoting the trails. So it really creates a very good mix of, of people who can work together because I suppose the farmers are invaluable in all of this. It's their land that we you know, are looking for permission for to walk through and so linking them in through the walk scheme allows that to happen. In this profile we see how the community of Killaloo have been able at last to realise an ambition 30 years in the making. Former rugby star Keith Wood explains. The project here is Carsford Park, part of the old Bishop's Palace um, grounds, the estate, 28 acres of, you know, of great land down beside the Shannon. Um, we've been looking for a home for rugby, soccer and the Scouts for over 30 years in Killaloo and we, we just haven't had the, the space, we haven't had the land. Um, we finally managed to get this piece of land um, and suddenly our dreams started to become realised. We had a long conversation with Leader. We had modest plans and suddenly sitting down talking uh, talking to them, our plans became an awful lot bigger and we were able to deliver on the full deal. And you know, there's something magic down here to be honest. We've got a, a kilometre of walkways, we have people down here all the time, 50, 60 people down here every day walking around. Um, people want to use it, it's safe, quiet, um, lovely place, lovely mature woodland. Um, and it's something that's set in the heart of people of Killaloo. 30 years we've been looking to try and get it, at least we have it now and with leader support we're beginning to deliver on it.